What's up guys, you're back with Technic and today I have another speed test for you, but this time between the OnePlus 8 Pro and the Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra. The OnePlus 8 Pro comes paired with Qualcomm's latest Snapdragon 865 processing chip and I have the version with 12 gigs of RAM attached to it. The S20 Ultra that I have is also a Snapdragon 865 version since it is imported from Korea and it also comes paired with 12 gigs of RAM. They are both up to date in the software department and they both have very heavy hitting specs. Feel free to hit pause there for more information. We have 120 hertz panels on both devices and we're going to restrict them both to full hd plus since the samsung cannot do wqhd plus and 120 hertz at the same time like the oneplus can we're going to leave animations on on both phones because of a recent poll on my youtube channel round one is going to be about boot fingerprints and face unlock round two is going to be about initially opening apps round three reopening app speed and round four will test out ram management we're going to be using my fingers here so to keep things accurate we're going to keep gopro footage at the bottom left hand corner guys this is technic and without further ado let's go Starting here with round one, we're gonna start with a boot test. And we have sped things up, as you can see, 400, now 200% in the bottom left-hand corner. The OnePlus 8 Pro was six seconds quicker when booting up the phone. And when first loading app icons, when initially going into the phone, the OnePlus 8 Pro also slightly does that faster than the Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra, giving it a second point in round one. We're gonna do best out of three here when it comes to a fingerprint recognition, and the Samsung uses an ultrasonic one. The OnePlus uses an optical scanner. The Samsung was slightly quicker in the first round. The OnePlus was slightly quicker in the second round. And now we're gonna do the best out of three here, the third one here, and we'll see which one is quicker. And there were two close to call so neither of them got a point there when it comes to facial recognition though there is quite a big difference between them the oneplus 8 pro is quicker every single time here so it will indeed snatch its third and final point in round one if you guys are new to the channel bottom left hand corner over there we do have our gopro footage and we have a timer underneath that counting down to the next round opening up camera the oneplus 8 pro gets it flipping the camera around once again the oneplus 8 pro gets it again and it gets its third point when taking a snap slightly quicker than the s20 ultra going into the gallery though the s20 ultra opens that up faster and the s20 ultra also loads opening up the photo faster going into our calculator over here the oneplus 8 pro opens that up slightly quicker and we are now double points for the oneplus 8 pro now more than double points five points for the oneplus 8 pro after opening up phone going into settings things were too close to call and now we're going to go into an internet speed test over here internet speed test we're not going to really be comparing download and upload speeds but more so which one can actually run the speed test quicker than the other one. We've sped things up, as you can see, bottom right hand corner over there by 800%. The OnePlus 8 Pro did it in 34 seconds and the Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra does it in 35 seconds, just a second slower, but the OnePlus 8 Pro does get an extra point over there. If you guys are new to the channel, what I do is I slow these clips down a hell of a lot and I go through them two, three, four, five, six times to make sure I am allocating the point correctly. If there is just one or two milliseconds between the app opening times, I don't allocate a point, but if there is one or two milliseconds between them and it is obvious which one opened it up quicker then I do allocate a point over there of course if the one is 10 milliseconds quicker I also allocate a point there too if it is too close to call I don't allocate a point at all now six points a piece in round two opening up rush we opened up the project slightly faster towards the one plus eight pro over there and now we're going to export a 4k 25 frames per second clip over here both of them running UFS 3 storage the Samsung finishes in 16 seconds and three seconds slow on the one plus eight pro with 19 seconds there both have seven points now in round two which is great going into astral vpn here since we need a vpn in china the oneplus opens it up quicker but the samsung turns it on slightly faster we need this in order to open up the next few apps that we're going to be testing out here because we are in china and unfortunately they do block them the samsung opens up our first social media app quicker which is indeed facebook making it one point ahead of the oneplus now it is a really tight test so far i haven't had two devices so close to each other since i tested out the Xiaomi Mi 10 Pro and the Realme X2 Pro actually. I uh, remember the Samsung has been out quite a lot longer than the OnePlus so it has had a few more updates though both of them are currently in their latest updated state but the OnePlus will probably get slightly faster in the Samsung as the months go by since the Snapdragon 865 processing chip does have updatable drivers and I do have the Snapdragon version of the Samsung so it has gotten a few driver updates up until this point. So far we have three points ahead on in the S20 Ultra, but now the OnePlus 8 opened up Netflix slightly quicker, both of them going into my profile at similar times. OnePlus opening up Google Chrome slightly quicker, now just one point behind the S20 Ultra and going into Subway Surfers over here, which is our first game to see which one opens it up quicker. The S20 Ultra was slightly quicker. If you go back, you'll see that it actually goes to the screen a hair of a second faster, but it is indeed noticeable. The same can be said with flip diving, but the other way around, giving the point to the OnePlus 8 
Pro over here, now still just one point behind the S20 Ultra. Our next game, which is slightly more intense to open up, is Temple Run 2 over here. I'm sure many of you guys do play it. You can actually use that wonderful high refresh rate panel of these screens to play that game. Going into PUBG, which is our most graphically intense game over here, we're gonna see which one can go open up the app faster, and it is indeed allocated to the OnePlus 8 Pro, even at 13 points as opposed to 14 points of the S20 Ultra, which was one point ahead in round two. Going into round three, this has nothing to do with RAM management whatsoever. It actually has to do with reopening app speed. So reopening all the apps that we just opened going in a complete opposite direction and not a looped direction. We'd only be testing out RAM management if we went into a loop direction. So going in this opposite direction, we're gonna go all the way back down to camera. And after that, then we'll loop back to PUBG to test out RAM management in round four. So far, they've been opening them up very similarly here. Both just have one point and going into YouTube, the OnePlus 8 Pro opens slightly quicker. Now two points as opposed to the one point of the S20 Ultra in round three over here. Guys, I have also popped in the description the different times of the round. So feel free to click forward if you'd like to see the final results of both phones. But as for now, we're shooting still into round three over here. Now three points ahead on the OnePlus 8 Pro as opposed to the Galaxy S20 Ultra. Going into Adobe Rush over here, the OnePlus 8 Pro opens it up slightly quicker. And if you guys have thought that things were very close over here, sometimes the OnePlus opens it up quicker because of the animations. Both of them are using full force animations, but OnePlus's animations are slightly faster than that of the Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra. My previous tests, I did disable animations on all the devices that I did, but I recently did a YouTube poll and all of you guys voted majority, like 60 or 70% voted to leave the animations on. If you'd like that to change, then head over to my page, go to my community tab and cast your vote now. Going into round four over here, after round three, the OnePlus was only four points ahead of the Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra when reopening up apps. Now we're gonna be testing out RAM management here. If both phones open up the app and keep it running in the background, neither point is given. If one opens it up and keeps it running in the background and the other doesn't, then of course it gets allocated a point. And if both of it kill it like we just saw there with Photoshop, then neither of them get a point as well. Actually, I've never seen this before in a test, but neither of them got a point because their RAM management is on points, both with 12 gigs of RAM. Total points here, 23 for the OnePlus 8 Pro, as opposed to 17 for the S20 Ultra. Though if we just count round two and three, which is all about speed, then it's 20 for the 8 Pro and 17 for the S20 Ultra. Guys, hit that subscribe button. This is Technic, and I'll see you in the next one.